Well, I had to get a new test lead set. Had one of my two last flute leads to go bad. A little over a year ago, I tried the Kiowitz KET-12 kit. It was like $18, and I thought well worth the money. So I ordered the KET-05 from Amazon, their biggest lead kit, 23 pieces of wires, clips, and proby things, $43, pretty cheap as a test lead kit goes. So let's see how many corners were cut. First off, the leads themselves. Looks like a little over 36 inches, strain relief to strain relief, so sort of short leads. Fits the Fluke 87 just fine. Not going to fit the Fluke 76 I have. Well, not the right angled in anyway. Now the lead set from the Kiwitz KET-12 kit do fit the 76. It's a tiny bit tight, but it does fit. And that's what I've been using on it since the fluke lead went bad. Leads feel very nice. Very soft for a PVC lead set. I'm pretty pleased with the way they feel. Now they don't feel as good as a nice silicon test lead set, but the whole kit was less than $45. I went with this kit over ordering another KET-12 for two items that are in this one. And this is one of them. I saw a video on one like this in use, and I wanted some. Looks like just a long grabber hook, but wait. No, the end is flexible. How neat is that? There are times I really wish I would have had something like this. They feel like they're built pretty good. Now, is it worth the extra $25 this kit cost over the KET-12? If they hold up worth anything, I think so. I'm already looking forward to using them. The other item I'm really interested in is the large alligator clips. The small ones that came with the KET-12 have held up well. I use them a lot. The jaw opening is just a little too small. These on the other hand open to about an inch and a half. And they feel pretty solid. The metal in the jaws looks a bit on the thin side. But again, this is not a premium priced lead kit. Definitely think the pair of large alligator clips is worth $10. Say 10 for the large alligator clips and 15 for the flexible grabbers? Kit is already worth its cost. And there's still more proby and grabby stuff to look at. The tweezers. When I bought the KET-12 kit, it was, I think, $2 more than the kit below it. And the only difference I could see was the KET-12 came with one of these. So I went the extra $2. They've come in handy a couple times in the last year or so. Think I've used them maybe four times? These look identical to the set that came in the KT-12. So yeah, they're worth the $2 more. I would rate them so-so on the usefulness scale. If they added $5 to the price of the kit, I would have said I shouldn't have done that. A set of mini grabbers. Small, soft wire. About 29 inches, clipped to strain relief in length. Those will come in handy quite often. Here also is a difference from the KT-12 kit. The set of mini grabbers in the KT-12 have a lead length of about 10 inches, so have to add them to the leads to be useful. The ones in this kit will be quite useful on their own. The small alligator clips, same ones that came in the KT-12 kit, they have held up quite well, better really than I was expecting when I first saw them. The main probe set, these are also different than the ones in the KET-12 kit. Reasonably comfortable to hold. Under the protective cover is a banana plug. The ones in the KET-12 didn't have that. I can see where that might come in handy. But taking the protective cover off is more work than just unplugging the probe and plugging the lead into whatever needs connected to. Now these are strange little probes. Flexible with long sharp points. Don't really see how that will hold up very well. Can't think of any time I've really needed anything like this. Will be a bit hard to pierce insulation with it that bendy, so not really sure of their use. But they are sharp. These are kind of the same without the flexibility. They're also plenty sharp to pierce the insulation of a wire. And a finger if not careful. A 
kind of mini probe set with long insulated reach. I kind of like these. Another mini probe set. What would I think of as a standard meter probe tip? Might actually use these a fair amount. These are basically the same thing with the standard probe tip replaced with a longer, thinner, sharper tip. These might do well on small pitch IC leads. You get a lot of pieces for $43. Seem to be reasonable quality. Do you need three sets of insulation piercing probes? Not really. If I was putting the kit together, I would drop a few of the probes and add 12 more inches to the lead set. I really think that would be more useful. But if you can live with the shorter leads, I think it's a good price for the kit. I probably wouldn't have ordered this kit if I hadn't had used the KET-12 lead set for a little over a year. I've been pleasantly surprised how well the KET-12 leads have done. If these hold up as well, I'll be very happy with this kit. Thank you for watching.